Good morning. How's everybody doing today? Hopefully everybody's off to a great productive day. So if you're new to the channel, I have been uploading a couple of um, videos on my Crack Key hydroponics um, setup. And most of my plants are pepper plants. Just about 95%. Well, everything over here except this plant are all pepper plants right here. And been getting a couple questions about... Um, you know, and they've been great questions why I haven't been using um, uh, aquarium bubbler in the containers and how I'm um, supporting my plants and all that. So the reason I'm not using the aquarium bubblers inside of none of my containers here, that's with these here, these up here and so on, is because I like the crack key hydroponics. If I um, include the aquarium bubbler in it, then I'm not using the crack key method which is made by um dr crack key and with his uh, with his method there's no need for the um aquarium bubbler and they're getting the oxygen and everything it needs still without the bubbler the bubbler will create more uh oxygenation um oxygenation if i'm saying that correctly but um there's no need for it. this method here is a set it and forget it and with the um uh, aquarium um bubbler that's a different type of uh, hydroponics. So, but this method here, they're still getting the oxygen and the nutrients they need. So, if you didn't see the uh, previous videos I did, I did explain that a little bit. But um, what it is, is the bottom of the roots sit down in the liquid and the, um, get the nutrients and stuff from the bottom of the, um, from the, bottom of the roots. The top of the roots are suspended, not in the liquid. As you can see where the um how high the um nutrients are, the top of the ones uh of the roots are sitting suspended in the air and they get little hairs on it, which create the um oxygen part of the roots. So that's how it's getting the oxygen and it's getting the um and it's still getting the nutrients from the bottom part of the roots. And with my pepper plants. I'm not letting them grow, but so high. So as you can see, all these pepper plants are kind of small and I keep pruning them down. Now this one over here, I'm gonna cut you off and jump back over there right quick. So with this one plant here, which you can see is way bigger than all the other ones. This plant is actually almost um, a year and a half old. So this plant, was originally started off in soil. And then I'm, if I remember, I'm gonna try to put a little clip in the corner, but it was started in soil and I took it out of the soil, rinsed it off and started it um, in the crack key hydroponic solution. So how I'm supporting this one is I have pool insulation. You can use the pool insulation or you can use a pool noodle and I have it wrapped around and then I have it stuck inside of the container. That's why this one is taller than the other one. So you can see this one here has the pool insulate, I mean, either pool insulation or, um, I mean, I'm sorry, either pool noodle or pipe insulation. You see how that one is stuck in there like that and it's way bigger. And you see all the other ones are in netting um, pots. But um, that's how I'm supporting the one that gets bigger. So I do have a few that have a, um, some um, pipe insulation in it inside of the netting pot, but I'm keeping them pruned down. And as you can see, they're still flowering at this small stage and still uh, producing uh, peppers. And with this one here, this why this solution, I had to change out a little more because I was still rinsing all the dirt out of the um, roots. So that's why these roots here are so um, dark like this compared to that other one, because this one came out of the soil and um, went inside of the container. I've been changing it out. That's why the um, the nutrients aren't too, too dirty, but that's why the roots look like that because it came out of the soil versus that other one that started in the crack key method and the roots never touched um, soil. But hopefully this explains, you know, why I'm doing um, doing, it, doing it this way, you know, cause I, I didn't um, explain it that well on the other videos. And as far as spacing, I'm not making, I'm not doing no more containers. I just wanted to jump on the grow, growing season. So where I'm at is Illinois and the growing season is shorter, 
versus where I moved from, which is uh, North Carolina. So I've only been in Illinois six months now. If I was down south, I wouldn't. I probably wouldn't even be using the um, crack key hydroponics method. I'd still be doing the traditional way. But once um, summer hit, I will be doing the traditional way outside in containers in soil. But as far as now, I'm not doing any more containers. This is what I have. Yes, it is taking up a lot of space. But um, as far as like height wise, I'm not worried about space because I have my grow lights on these um, clothes racks. I did a video on that. I'll put a link to, to the video that I um, showed where I got these from. So if the plants do get taller, all I have to do is just adjust the legs and take the grow lights up. And as far as the ones I have set up over there, they're all smaller plants and they're not gonna get too big. I do have pepper plants that I got going in a small three gallon, but I plan on transplanting those into um, bigger containers. But I just wanted to get a jump on all my pepper plants. That's why 95% of the stuff I got growing here is pepper plants and then I have the strawberries over there. But once summertime hits and the weather warms up, I will be outside doing it the traditional way uh, I would just be using my rack here to start all my seeds over there and everything will be um, going outside. So hopefully this um, kind of explains why I'm doing it the way I'm doing it. But um, in, in the same uh, sense, y'all have to do what works um, best for y'all in y'all situation. But as always, uh, keep the comments coming because I mean, I learn from them a lot. I don't know everything. So please keep them coming. And um, thank y'all for watching as always. And I will catch y'all on the next one.